every year we have an annual film and entertainment sale. So all year round we take in props, costumes and autographs for the sale that is now taking place on the 17th of December. Um, and material really starts coming in sort of earlier in the year. And we take material that sort of ranges from very early vintage Charlie Chaplin, so early 1920s, through to more modern material like the Star Wars material um, and Aliens material. So up until probably about the 80s. And then unusually this year we've got some slightly later material even still from Harry Potter and The Spy Who Shagged Me. <laughs> they're all prototype helmets, and if I can remember the names properly, there's an X-Wing fighter pilot helmet, which is a prototype. Then we've got the very famous and recognisable Stormtrooper helmet, which is the white one. That's a prototype. And then we've got the Imperial Forces helmet, um, which is a sort of funny, they call it a pelican shape. You don't see it very often in the film. And then there's the Imperial For Forces fighter pilot helmet. So there's actually four different helmets. James Bond is one of those things that has a huge following. So we always do quite well with James Bond memorabilia. And our star lot is what I'm actually wearing on my wrist, which is this lovely Omega watch, um, which actually comes from Omega, and they've written a letter to say that it was worn by Pierce Brosnan as James Bond in The World Is Not Enough. So we're thrilled to have it, and we expect it to make about eight to 12,000 pounds. It's really to do with rarity. I mean, obviously, a signed vintage um, photograph of Charlie Chaplin is, is now quite rare. Unfortunately, there aren't as many people around who are going to want to buy that as, say, a vintage photograph of Marilyn Monroe, um, which is why the Marilyn Monroe photographs have higher estimates, because, A, they do tend to be slightly rarer, but also we have far more collectors for Monroe, um, which tends to push the price up. <laughs> 